Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 16.6.1 released today to all iOS 16 supported devices. iOS 16.6.1 is out to everyone around the world at the same time and is available on iPhone 8, 8 plus and newer. Now this particular update varies depending on if you have the betas turned on or off. With the beta turned off, it came in at 270.6 megabytes. With it turned on, it was 5.49 gigabytes. So make sure you turn that off if you're actually seeing that. Now, along with this, Apple also released iPadOS 16.6.1, watchOS 9.6.2, and macOS Ventura 13.5.2. Now, if you're not seeing the update, you may be on iOS 17 betas. If you are, you won't have this update. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings and then we'll go to general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 20G81. This particular update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. Apple has not said specifically what's in it, as you can see from the screenshot here that says iOS 16.6.1 is out. It just says important security fixes and is recommended. So no specific bug fixes in this particular update. We can, however, see the security updates. So if we go to Apple's security website, scroll down, I'll link this in the description as well. For iOS 16.6.1 and iPadOS 16.6.1, if we scroll down, you'll see there's a few different important security updates, one for image IO and one for wallet. There's no other updates here. And you can read this by seeing the impact, which says a maliciously crafted attachment may result in arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. To fix it, or the description, a validation issue was addressed with improved logic. So they've updated this and also one for image IO as well. Now, as far as anything else, that's all that's in this particular update. And it's a little bit surprising that they didn't just release a security response update. Normally they include those and they just update very quickly. So this must have been big enough where they had to patch it by restarting the device, installing something else. Now, as far as additional bugs or anything else, I haven't seen any change with notifications, anything else anywhere throughout the OS at all. So no specific things that have been fixed with bugs. All of the features will be in iOS 17, which should release sometime next week. We'll talk about that in just a moment. There's also nothing mentioned as far as camera fixes, although we are seeing a little bit of that with iOS 17. Now, as far as battery life, it will take a few days to measure that. On this particular device, this is an iPhone 14 Pro. And on this device, you can see it's in deep purple, if we go over to our battery, battery health and charging, it's probably at hundred percent as this is not my main device. However, after using my other device for a year, it's at about 89% or so. So we'll check back on the overall battery life after a few days and see how it's holding up. As far as performance so far, I haven't noticed anything different. So we'll check the Geekbench scores in just a moment, but everything seems to be smooth scrolling, going into different applications or just going into the app library, everything seems to be what you would expect. So no real changes here that I can see as far as that goes, everything's loading quickly and everything else. There's also no modem update in this particular update. So no changes there. As far as if you should install iOS 16.6.1, well, I definitely would due to the security updates. It shouldn't really affect anything as far as battery and performance typically when they're just pushing security updates. As far as any other updates, well, we could see iOS 16.7 RC soon. Last year, Apple released the final version of iOS 15.7 RC on the 8th of September. So that came out and then was available to the public the following week. So we could see that very soon as it's been in testing and in different analytics across different websites. So maybe we'll see iOS 16.7 RC very soon. Also, I would expect iOS 17 RC or release candidate the final version that's released to developers and public beta testers after the Apple event. That typically will be the final version released to the public if there's no additional bugs in it. So I would expect that after the Apple event on the 12th, and then we'll probably have the final release the following Monday. However, sometimes it's after the Apple event the next day. So we don't really know until that event, but that's what we should see very soon. As far as benchmarks, let's take a look at those. If we go into Geekbench 6, and in Geekbench, we have 2,555 for single core, 6,164 for multi-core. Compared to what we have with iOS 16.6, it's actually a little bit lower by a couple points with the single core and slightly higher with the multi-core, as you can see here. So overall, 
I would expect it to perform the same. I wouldn't expect many changes with battery life or anything else, but definitely install it due to those security updates along with the Mac OS update as well. If you found anything else in iOS 16.6.1, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and let me know what feature you're looking most forward to in iOS 17 as well. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.